Hello friends, I'm Neil Sheikh from blog2.com and in this video we'll see how to use Elementor Pro's animated headline widget to create some beautiful animated headlines like this which you see on your screen or another example is this one as you can see over here it says make sure to like, subscribe and share so you should follow this headline and you should also subscribe, like and share to my channel okay so these are two simple examples this plugin this widget is very strong very robust you can create you know very very beautiful things with this let me show you a very simple example for example this is the clip animation you can change this to typing animation now as you can see that animation will change this is how it is now if you want to change this to maybe flip then you select flip and this is the uh, this is how easy it is to you now change animation you also have over here this is the rotating one now this over here which is used is called highlighted one now we will click on this and as you can see at present it is highlighted and under highlighted also we have different shapes at present we are using the curly shape let's change the shape to circle so this is how the changes take place this is very very good guys very awesome and i'll show you how to create both these sections which i have created myself and before starting make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos so to do so first we need to create a page actually you don't need to create a page you can just add everything over here but i'll add a new page create a new page and then i'll show you everything so that it is very easy and very simple to understand so how our pages and click on add new and by the way, this an animated headline widget is only available for Elementor Pro. So you should have an Elementor Pro to, use, to do what I'm going to do now. If you don't have that, don't worry. Go to blog2.com slash Elementor and there you can purchase the uh, plugin. It is very cheap according to the features that it has. It is really an amazing plugin. I have created many different uh, videos using this and i'm creating more and more because i really love it and i'm using this in my daily life now this is the page with that i'm talking about click on this buy now button and you will be redirected to this section here you have three different plans personal business and unlimited you can select according to you this is uh, just 49 dollars for one side if you're using only one site you just have to pay 49 dollars and that that is awesome and you have this awesome plugin that could do so many things okay so i think it is really affordable you have 99 dollars for three different sites if you have unlimited sites then you have to choose this plan okay so i hope you have purchased this now come over here now let's name this anything like animated headline you can name it anything select any template you want click on publish now click on this edit with elementor button so now let's create this one first so over here what you have to do you have to drag you have here you'll see pro elements if you're using the pro version you will see all these elements from here. Here is the animated headline. If you don't find it, go at the top and search for animated headline and here you will find it. Drag this thing over here. So by default, this is how it looks like. Now first, let me add a background image so that you can see everything clearly. So click on over here which says edit section, background type classic, select an image. And I will select this image obviously which I've just uploaded. This is the one. If you want this image, I'll give a link in the video description below. You'll get this image and the layout which I'm going to use uh, after few minutes. You'll get all these things for free. So you can use that plugin. Now just click select this image and click on insert media. So we have the image in the background, but we want to make it full size. So you go to height under layouts you select heights select fit to screen we have fit to screen now go to style again and this is how the beautiful image is but here we are getting a very ugly image so from here select size and select cover now this looks awesome now we also have to change this uh, text color so that we can see everything clearly and after that we will start working on our animated headline so click on this headline go to style select color select white so this is this has changed the shape color as you can see see over here it says shape if you want to change the headline color or headline text you select headline select this text so this has changed this text 
okay you can also change the animated text color to different color if you want black white or any different color whichever color you want you can change it to that fine now let's see everything one by one go to content when you click on this thing first option is content there are two different styles highlighted and rotating and when you click on or when you select one style you get more options over here shape options and animation options under highlighted you get shape options and when you select rotating you get animation options now let's see one by one let's see first the highlighted ones click on highlighted by default the circle one is selected as you can see over here if you can change it to curly which i have used over here the curly anime okay i have changed it so this is the curly animation i hope you can see everything clearly and now let's select the third one this is the underline a simple one this is the double underline double underline okay underline zigzag diagonal strike through and we have x now using different things you can uh, you know create more thing for example if you use strike through you can also make it highlighted kind of thing for example let's go to style and you can change this width to maybe 100 okay now this is how it looks like okay you can change this color to any different color again go back over here now as you can see it will give you a highlighting effect so it's all up to your imagination and creativity you can use one thing to create some different and beautiful thing okay so let's change this to default let's delete this and see different settings let's make it white again the color of this shape so you you, you saw different uh, shapes over here now let it be circle for now now instead of highlighted let's select rotating okay so by default the typing one is selected as you can see the typing animation is selected now let's change this to clip okay so hopefully you can see this is the animation now the newer animation this is how it looks like you have more options like flip okay this is the flip one you have swirl these are really you can che check everything over here okay blinds this is also looking cool now here is the thing which you have to change you, if you want to change this text this is the before text and after you can also add some text after the animation so let's uh, change the text let's change this text to same thing which we have changed over here so let's type in make sure to find and instead of these options i'll cut everything i'll delete all the options in the rotating text and i'll put in subscribe so make sure to subscribe and i uh, the second uh, animation which i want i add that on next line for example like and share now it will change every time make sure to like subscribe and share you can also add some uh, after text for example just thank you it's all up to you i'm just showing you what all are the different options you can change the alignment from left right and center whatever you like now coming to style here as i said you earlier this is the headline the first one is the headline you can change the headline color to any color you want okay this will change all the colors let's select white then we have typography settings over here you can change the size of this text you can change the font family first i am just showing you how to create uh, uh, different options over here now after that i'll show you how to create this exact same thing okay first let's see what all are the different options okay so this was the typography let's remove this after text this is really looking ugly okay now this is how the very simple very few options and all the uh, uh, everything is made so easy now we have seen what these basic options are what the styling option are now let's create this thing so here it says awesome okay so let's type in awesome there is nothing over here it is not rotating first one is highlighted just simple highlighted and we don't have any before text we just have the highlighted text so let me type in awesome here the font color is white and the font uh, family let me check what font family is that 
okay that is uh, our purpose i don't know what that is we'll use that one go to style shape color if you want to shape, change the shape color which is at present white i want that to be white only so i won't be changing that i'll change the headline color to white okay and animated text color this is the green color so i'll change this to white also and i'll change the typography to this is arbutus okay so i'll select that i'll select the font family and i'll search for this one okay now i'll increase the size so here we have the size option okay you can increase the size of this text okay this was not that one it is something different this is trebuch i don't know what it is there's some different font so just select this and search for that font you can select any font obviously i'm just selecting the same font which i have selected so that because i just like this font now if you see over here this text color and the uh, uh, line color or the shape color is same okay so i'll use that same color so i'll again scroll up just minimize this expand this one shape select the color and i'll select this color okay just make it a little lighter okay this looks nice and i'll also change the shape to curly okay so this is looking exactly like like this now now let's add this color this text so this is not uh, the animated text first save all the changes this is just the simple text so here it is headline heading just bring this thing over here and type anything you want for example there i have typed in nayar shake is and after that next line is awesome so alignment center go to style text color is white typography the size is quite bigger now let's again see the font family it is what is it yesteryear yesteryear some font name this is the one okay now i'll also change the font width so that it looks much better fine increase the size and change the text color to the same color which you have over here okay so that it looks better fine click on save just minimize this thing this is how it looks like okay at present let's minimize this also fine so this is how it looks like we have a lot of gap let's fix that select this one go to style headline and here as you can see we have a lot of uh, line height just delete that now this looks awesome click on save okay, guys so this is how you cre cre create the first one now let's see the second one this is the one okay now scroll down click on add template now click on my template i have given this template uh, if i'm giving this template for free you can see the link in the video description below and download it for free now this is the one animated text just select that one and click on this insert button okay so when you do so you have everything over here already you have this animation and all but i what i'll do i'll delete the, this one so that i can show you how to do this just delete this come back over here select the animated headline drag it over here now let's see what all are the different text but before that let's make the change the color so that we can see everything first change the style to rotating go to style color white fine now we can see the changes much much better now here it says again make sure to subscribe like and share whatever you want to uh, add the text go to content and change the text okay from here same thing all the options should be there on new line fine so we have three different option we have the before text over here make sure to and the rotating text you can change the alignment we'll change it to left because everything over here is left aligned go to style 
now let's change uh, here if you see the font for this thing is different and for this one is different so let's see what font we we have used okay so headline the headline font is let's see go to style okay here it is headline font is tahuma so let's select that go to style headline font select the typography font family this is the one and this is I guess uh, 200 change the weight also to 200 just to make it little thinner because we want our main animated text to be bolder and this thing should be thinner and this is also a different font if you see and this is atomic age so let's change that also here you, you'll see at the bottom animated text make the typography on to do changes select the family type in atomic age this is the one okay guys so as you can see now we have the exact same thing which we created over here in the demo website now here you can click